In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go from this to this in Harrison Mixbus 32C. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. And I wanna show you a little tip here that if you're using direct monitoring through Mixbus, but you still wanna be able to listen to your reverb as you record vocals or just any track, this will be an easy way for you to set that up. Let me first show you how to change your monitoring setup from Mixbus to audio hardware. So we're gonna to go to Window, Preferences and Show. And under the monitoring section, we can either choose record monitoring handled by Mixbus or audio hardware. So I'm gonna choose audio hardware because I'm using my Apollo Twin X and this allows me to monitor through the console as you can see right here. So what we have here on the screen is a vocal track. I have it set up as vocal one and I am using an Apollo twin right now and I'm using the second input for my microphone which is right over my head. Now what I've done is also created a second track that also has the mic two input selected and I also have a reverb plugin on the track itself. If I double click on this, you can see this is the G-verb. And at this point, you can choose any preset that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Solar Choir, because that's gonna sound cool. All right, so we can hide that for now. And the main thing you wanna know about Mixbus is that it allows you to monitor the input, the disc, or an auto input. So if we go to the record page here, we can see that auto input is selected. And that just means that if we're recording, we can hear our previous recorded information on the same track. And then as we punch into the track, we now hear the input coming in on our track. So if you're playing guitar, you can hear your previous guitar part. And then as you punch in, you can hear the newly recorded material as you're playing. Same with a vocal or any other instrument that you're recording. And the disc option means we're just hearing the playback, but we're not hearing the input. So what we're gonna do for this reverb track is we're actually gonna select the in. So we're gonna go from sounding really dry to sounding like this. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles and thanks for checking out the channel. Now you may think that's a little too wet for your particular needs. So I think it is over the top myself. So let's go into the reverb plugin here and we can just choose a different preset. Let's choose fast plate maybe lower the time down to maybe two. And now we can engage the monitor input and this is what it sounds like. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. Thanks for checking out the video. Now at this point you have the option to blend in a little bit of the dry signal, but just remember when you do that, you're actually gonna be introducing whatever buffer size latency that you have set in Mixbus. So for example, I'm gonna set this to 100% dry and now turn on the input monitoring. It's gonna sound like this. Hey, hey guys, guys, I'm Nathan, Nathan from Harrison, Harrison Consoles. Thanks, Thanks for, for checking, checking out the, the video. video. So you can hear in that example that you're actually hearing the latency in Mixbus. So if you go to window, then audio MIDI setup, we can see that we have 1024 buffer size and that our hardware input latency is 317 samples. And this happens to be 23.2 milliseconds. Let's go ahead and stop the audio engine and let's just see what happens if we lower our buffer size. So 512 is 11.6 milliseconds. Let's see what happens if we engage the input monitor. Check, check, check. check. One, one, two, two check, check, check. And now let's turn on our reverb. Now let's set the reverb back to full, 100% wet. Check, one, two, check, check. So depending on the level of reverb you have on the track itself, a little bit of latency is not gonna be that big of a deal. Cause I'm choosing to monitor my signal through the hardware of the Apollo and not through Mixbus itself. So if you have an interface that has any kind of DSP mixer that you can do direct monitoring through, I highly suggest doing that because that allows you to keep your buffer size a little bit higher in Mixbus. And you can use this method of creating a second track, adding a reverb plugin onto that track, and then engaging monitor input. And that allows you to balance the reverb versus the dry and get just the amount of reverb that you need to record your vocal. 
Now one last test, we're gonna go ahead and engage the reverb, but now just use the fader on that reverb track to give us different levels of reverb. All right, so this is the fader all the way up. And now I'm gonna start bringing it down. Check, check, check. Hey guys, this is Nathan McFarland from Harrison Consoles. Now to me that sounds pretty good and any kind of latency that is in there is not that distracting. Let's just go in and raise up the time of the reverb a little bit. Check. 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 Okay. So that sounds pretty good to me and I would be able to sing a vocal just fine with that reverb on. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you have any questions about Mixbus, be sure to leave a comment down below or check out our website, harrisonconsoles.com. Mm -hmm.